just to let y'all know, we back. We here with Hot Chef De Niro. No, you do your little thing. I like when you do it. Good afternoon, beautiful people. It's your girl, Hot Chef as De Niro. I am in Saudi Shula's kitchen on today. We are cooking vegan with the queen. Yes. Y'all see it. Y'all see we got the aprons and flavors. Y'all yes, make sure y'all yes. get your merch on my site. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, don't forget. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We gotta let the people know. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let them know. Get this off my head. Hot spices coming soon. Listen, oh, yeah. listen, listen, listen. Let listen. Them know. Hold on, wait, let's get the spices. Oh, we even get started. Show them the spices. Can I taste that lemon pepper? Is uh -huh. that the lemon pepper one? This is the honey lemon pepper, beautiful people. So listen. This is going to be going on sale. I'm going to start pre-sales the week after Father's Day. So you can order my honey lemon pepper seasoning from Hot Chef Azanero. I'm going to be cooking with this today. I should have made a piece of fish with it. Oh, the queen, yeah. Well, we it so I can taste yeah, it. we still can. Yeah, see if I you got, got plenty of time. Yes. Get that fish out. We're going to make some fish. I'm going to do some vegan dishes for her on the day. We're going to be working with tofu. So... Ms. Shula has her own seasons that she's also going to be working with. So today I'm going to be doing some Cuban tofu right in her kitchen, right alongside her. We teaching her how to do vegan today, babies. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all see it. Yes, yes. What I should do is a wild thing. By the time we finish, can I have my um, apron back when you Oh, yeah, yes, yes. I need my apron, I need my apron. Y'all know ain't nothing scripted around here, so y'all can get some bloopers, all right? That's right, that's right. And y'all know I don't do no re rate no retakes. <laughs> Pinky. Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. my season, so uh -huh. I don't want to hear nobody saying nothing. That's the taste test. What they do back in the day with the cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> How you do it? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, seriously though, y'all. It's good. If you if it if anything tastes good before it's cooked, mm -hmm. you know it's good. That's right. That's right. That's how we know. So what we're gonna do on today is we're gonna start off with some tofu. So tofu is the vegans, that's our meat. That's our protein, okay? All right? Hold on, let me get into these, all these beautiful veggies and stuff. Okay, yes. Come over here. So I want to get see. into it. So we got some peppers. We have yellow and we have orange um, peppers and red peppers on today. We're going to do some red onions for her Cuban, her Cuban stew. We have some scallions. We have some fresh garlic. Um, and, of course, that Cuban seasoning. So as she said... Listen, it smells amazing. It's extremely aromatic. You can smell everything that she has mixed up in here. And just like she said, oh my God, it tastes so good, okay? That's how you know if you have a good seasoning. So if you taste it and it tastes good to you before you actually put it on your food, we working with magic. So we got some organic, super firm tofu. All right, the reason why I like super firm tofu is because it mimics the texture of meat. It holds up extremely well when we're frying things. So, we got to get that um, tofu together. So, just as some of you guys know, tofu is packed in water. All right? So, we want to get rid of that water. So, I'm going to open up this packaging for you guys. All right? So, you guys can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so y'all, as y'all see, y'all know I like fish with the bone in it. I like to get into it. So while we cooking, I'm gonna let my little fish on thought. Always keep me a little piece of porgy or a little piece of croaker in the refrigerator and freeze them. Because <laughs> I like it like that. That's right, that's right. I wish I could play music on this. So I gotta put this on my YouTube. Because I like it like that. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, baby. Because I like it like uh -huh, that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I like diamonds. I like, uh-uh, I like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. All right, so this tofu is giving me a really hard time. I don't want to open. That's all right. Just do it. All right. So, all right, we got our tofu out. Is that kale you got over here? 
Yes, we have what cake. What we doing with Carol That's today? gonna be for our second dish. So you said you wanted me to do something that mimics lamb. So we got some seitan that mm -hmm. I prepped for you two days. It takes two days to make it the seitan. Yes, okay. it does. But What's you have to make it. Uh, you may have to make it fresh. So okay. again, seitan is our meat. It's wheat meat. Okay, you use vital wheat gluten in order to make the seitan. All right, that's a process. Ne that's for next time. We right, so what we doing now? What you, so what you need me the to tofu, do? I need you to wrap that in some paper towels. Okay. All right, a lot, a little bit, a lot. Yeah, that's good. Now you wrap that. So a damn paper towel. I'm sorry, so next time I bring my own. So wrap that in some paper towels tightly. It doesn't matter. Boom. Tightly loose, and then we need to weight that down. Down. So we're gonna put something heavy over top of it. Something right. like a pot. Yeah, we gonna put a pot on there. That works. Cause all you really wanna do is we wanna press out the water, okay? Because tofu, like I said earlier, yep, is packaged in water. So we just wanna kind of sort of press out, you know, all of that water, okay? Okay. All right. So I'll put this over here. Yes. Put that you're over not, here. Not to this yet. No, we have time. So. While we're getting that together, let's get our gravy together for our Cuban um, tofu. So, you tell me, what goes inside of your um, your Cuban chicken? What do you use? Well, How you do you start it off? My mother-in-law, she puts all kinds of vegetables okay. and stuff like that in hers. Okay. Me, when I sell it at the restaurant, I try to give it to people the way I serve it at the restaurant. Okay. They just do peppers, onions, and like you said, everything else is in here. Okay. Put a little bay leaf in there. Okay. That's the only other thing that's missing, but we'll put that in the packages. Okay. Um, and you can just slice up anything. Okay. Like any kind of vegetables, any kind of um some people even she even put rice in her sometimes. Okay. All right. So, so she well, make we, it like a soup or she make it like a stew. So what we're doing is we're gonna stew our tofu. So let's get started with um stewing our vegetables down. So what we're gonna do is we have a pan over here. All right. I have some avocado oil. All right. You can use extra virgin olive oil, grapeseed oil, whatever you prefer. And all we want to do is we just want to saute all of our vegetables, all right? Because what we want to do is once we get the tofu together, we just want to bathe it in this amazing, amazing Cuban stew sauce that we got going over here, all right? So you said you wanted me to cut up some more scallions for you. All right, I like to like the fold them in half. Yes. I like to fold them in half. Right. Yes. Fresh vegetables are the best. All right. So, let's saute our veggies. All right, so, you know I'm not touching your stove because I don't know which one is which. You got a fancy stove going on right here. already uh-huh right so i want to get some of your seasoning and we're just going to start oh, 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 oh let me get you my man mm -hmm. okay you gotta yeah. Use my, you gotta my stuff yeah we're we, we going to use your stuff on today because i will just eyeball it okay honestly I, I eyeball a lot of things a lot of people are like well how much of this and how much of that and i know that when we're teaching people how to cook we definitely have to be more precise as far as measurements and stuff goes. But I like to just tell people, cook how you feel. Taste as you go along. Mm -hmm. Make sure y'all go cop it. Yes. Why well, I can't see it good. Is it the light? Y'all Oh, yeah, it must be the light. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Y'all see it. All right, so. And you can pull it back. Okay. How do you want to do it? So we're going to do a full scoop of it. Amazing seasoning on those vegetables. We're going to start off with two. All right. I think we're going to need three. Okay, let's do three. All right. Maybe four. All right. Maybe four. <laughs> I'm in her kitchen, so I'm following. <laughs> I'm following her direction. Okay. All right. Oh goodness. So we want what we. The reason why I put it in here while it's dry 
is because I like kind of sort of the, of the heat from the pan and the oils and the vegetables to kind of sort of bring out the flavor of your seasoning while we cooking. Mm -hmm. So everything is going to taste like that amazing seasoning that you have. So I just want to incorporate everything. Get it all nice and blended together. All right. And once these veggies come up to a nice um, saute. You need water? Yes. We're going to add some water. Did I turn it on right? Because I'm not sure. Is it cooking with these here? Did I do it right? You turned it on low. Okay. That's right here. All right. Oh, you ain't want to touch my stove. Okay. All right, cool. And I'm like, wait a minute now. We should have had some, um, all right, yeah, here we go. All right. Yes, yeah, so, oh my God, it smells so good. You can smell the garlic. It smells like we have some cumin in here. Some curry. Yeah, this smells Super duper good. All right. Listen, I tell you guys all the time. I wish that you guys had smell o vision, and that you could smell what I'm smelling right now because this seasoning is crazy. Yeah. yeah. We gonna give them the boot. Oh yes, give them the boot, baby. Give them the boot. All right. Yes. That do smell good. Doesn't it? Don't you smell like everything is just permeating super duper? It's just so fragrant and it just smells so I'm good. Eating. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, I, I get a little fancy sometimes yeah, when I'm real, talking. Fancy yeah, I'm now. sorry. I'm Her, sorry. I'm going to use that in my video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? You remember how they had percolator? It just smells, it, it just smells, smells so, good. so good. It really, really does. Yeah. And I see you put your um, garlic in there. Yes, we had some fresh garlic in here. We had the scallions. We have the pepper. Let me see how it makes this brown. Mm. Look at that. 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 All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of water at a time. Be giving them the boot. A little bit of water. Woo, baby. Now me, I never ate tofu before in my life. I did. I tried it one time. I didn't like it. You didn't like it, but you're going no. to like how Chef Avenero's tofu on today. Yeah. Well, one thing about me, you know I'm honest. Yes, it's okay. It's all right. I'll say this. The great thing about tofu is it doesn't have any flavor. So whatever you season it with, whatever you cook it with, that's what it's going to taste like. Have a problem with the texture, if anything. But that's why I like extra firm tofu. All right, so we're going to turn this down just a little bit. All right. And of course, you know, Hot Chef adds an arrow. Got to add her own spin on it. So we're going to. Ah, add... that's going to stain my camera. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me I, get you I apologize. I'm going to get you a. Uh, It smells so good. It really, really does, guys. So what is this? So this is organic coconut milk. Organic okay? coconut milk. Yes. Let me get a knife. Yeah, just to pop the top just a little bit. We're going to add just a little bit of coconut milk to it just to add some more richness and a little bit more flavor. Just a little bit.
So this is a full fat coconut milk. That's why you see the. That chalk up for the people. It's a full fat coconut milk. Mm -hmm. So it has coconut cream in it too. Okay. All right. So we just wanted to add a little bit of that to it. All right. Mm, that made it thick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I taste that. Yeah. Woo! I'll taste it. Go ahead. I may need to add a little bit more. That's good. Mm-hmm. You like it? Got the taste. Mm-hmm. Can you taste the coconut in it? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. All right. That so. gave it a different. That just gave it a whole nother vibe. Right. 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 So we want to turn this down real, real low, and let's go check on our tofu because you're going to. You're going to cut it. Yes. So where's our plate at? Okay. All right. So we got our tofu. I'm gonna turn the camera back around. All right. to get me a, 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 a videographer yeah so they can do this stuff for me because it's hard trying to cook and keep the camera angle then the i'm the video person yeah yes yeah. you got to be the host the personality the whole nine right yeah the personality naturally <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> all right so our tofu so see how wet the um paper towel is mm -hmm. okay okay Alright, so what are we doing with this right here? So you're gonna cut up that tofu. Okay? How? I'm gonna shut it right now. Let me taste your sauce. Mm. And people can add their own wow. salt. Yeah. That's I mean good. extra salt if they want extra salt. I think we need just a little bit of salt in it, just a little bit. Alright, so we're working with the tofu. Mm -hmm. So with this, you can cut it as big or as little as you, you want. You want it. Uh -huh. So we're going to make it look like chicken. So I can cut my own little pieces so it don't look so, um, what you call it? Go ahead, go ahead. Rock out. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm going to add some um, little form. Less, less tofu-ish to you? You want it to yeah, look, I want it look like, like chicken? Yeah, I want it like chicken. Okay, no problem. Right. Uh huh. Do do you think? <laughs> you can leave this creative. creative. <laughs> You're so funny. She is making the tofu the way she wants to. Okay, and I have not a problem with that whatsoever. None. Cause I just want. I would eat it if it looked like. Um, okay. Like a bunch of squares. Okay. You know? No problem. No okay. problem. So now we're doing. Okay. So we're gonna season this. So, Are you seasoning tofu too? Yes, we have to season the tofu. Okay. We're gonna put just a little bit of garlic, um, granulated garlic on there, and oh, also some good. garlic salt. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like a bland, like lunch meat or something. It doesn't really have a taste to it, no, no flavor to it, nope. none whatsoever. Nope. So we're gonna season that. So I'm gonna let you season that, and we're gonna I'm dust that with, with some. Like you, um, you doing it? No, and you, you already have my seasoning. Yeah, so. What we want to do is some garlic powder and some garlic salt. That's all. Not a whole okay. lot. So go ahead. Season your tofu. What kind of garlic you want? What you got? What you got? What you got? Over there. Over there. Over there. We can use the, the garlic you have right there. It's fine. Okay. And just a little bit of garlic or some salt. Plain. You can just do regular salt if you have that. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is your tofu. Mm -hmm. Tell me what I'm doing. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit of pepper. Yeah, that's good. I like spicy. I know, we, we, we know. She loves spicy. She's putting extra pepper on the tofu side, too. All right, so toss it around. Yeah. Okay. And all we're going to do is we're going to flour it. So we're going to use potato flour because we want it to be sure crisp. Made. Nice and crispy, okay? This is my favorite brand that I use, okay? You can use cornstarch. You can use regular flour if you want. But we want the tofu to be kind of crispy. I'm, I know you want this the way you want, but can we make that piece a little small? Oh, you want them small? Okay, just no, a small. Bit, Don't make yeah. it small. Yeah, just a little small. So we can chop some stuff up? Thank you. But yeah. I just ain't want it to look square. Because they kind of big, and, and okay. you, you don't really like tofu, so I feel like if the bite is too big, then it won't. Okay. You're not going, you know. So it's I'm not ready, gonna be, Yes, yeah, it's not going to be as appealing to you. All right, it. so can we chop it? Yeah, so that's good. That way it's like some chunks and she don't need pieces of There you go. All right, that's, that's good. good. That's good? Yep. 
So let's put some um, potato flour in the bag. Same way you would do if you was flouring chicken or fish or whatever you want to do. Yes, ma'am. So the great thing about tofu and seitan is you treat it just like you would regular protein. Okay. Just like you would regular meat. Okay? Okay. All right. Toss that. Nice and coated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have it all. And all it looks pretty already. Fry it up. That's it. But it looks pretty. It looks pretty? Already. Yes. Let me show them. Look pretty already. Y'all see the spices and stuff in there? Mm -hmm. This is your tofu, okay? Your tofu. We making it the way you want to make it. No, we making it the way you're telling me to make it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get our rice on back here. Get some more nope. Can we turn that back on? Turn it. Turn it back on? Yeah, this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, because we want to do our black beans. So, Sonia is also going here. to be making some black bean coconut rice with black beans, okay? Oh, that sounds good. So, so right here, that? we just have some just regular water. I added some coconut milk to it and some fresh sprigs of thyme. We got some organic thyme, okay? Why be, so why be like, is it thyme or thyme? It's thyme, okay? Thyme. Yes. But listen, you can say it however you want us to. They know what you mean, okay? Mm -hmm. Fresh thyme sprigs, all right? We just put two of them in there. We're going to bring it up to the boil, and we're just going to add some brown rice and some black beans to it. Very, very simple. Oh, you mix them together? Yes, ma'am. And it's in the can? Yes. We used organic because, of course, we shortcut in the day. We got organic black beans. All right? Yes. Is that Sansa interrupting my video again? I think so. What, Sansa? <laughs> I'm on my video. I'm trying to do my... my She's over there. I'm going to test our oil out and make sure that our oil is nice and hot. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. All right. So just to recap, we got our Cuban sauce going for our tofu. We seasoned up our tofu. And in the pot back here, we just have some black beans, some water, and some coconut milk, and some fresh thyme. I also added some garlic to that um, and just a little bit of salt. We're going to bring it up to a boil. Um, add our rice to it, and we got coconut yeah. rice with black beans in it. Yeah. This is going to be an amazing dish that we're putting together in Sonia's kitchen. Yes, in Sonia's kitchen. We working. We working. We cooking. We making it happen. Okay, what I miss? You didn't miss anything, baby. Not one thing. We tested out our co our tofu. Okay. So that's frying. So they always messing up my video. It's all right. It's all right. We love the kids. We love the kids. So we just making enough for one dish, right? Yes. All right. So that's enough. enough. Yeah. Now go ahead, put a little bit in, more in there. You don't want to overcrowd your pan. Okay. So just like spread it all throughout. Yes, the because you want it to kind of sort of cook evenly. Yeah. So that's good. Yep. We want that to crisp up. Let me take that from you. I love learning new stuff. They say y'all want me to learn, I'm learning. <laughs> they say they want me to learn how to make something new, I'm making it new. All right. So this gonna be in my cookbook, y'all. I'm so excited about my cookbook. Y'all never seen the cookbook the way that y'all about to see it, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I need a little bit of sugar. Okay. It's up in the cabinet right here. This side? Nope, the blue one. Okay. Put sugar in. in our Cuban, um, just a little pinch. A pinch of sugar in the Cuban? Yeah, just a little pinch. 
Y'all heard that? She tweaking it. For the pinch. Sugar in there. Tofu is looking good, Miss Shuler. It is. It smells good too, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Should I flip it? Like a little? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. You see yeah, how nice good. and crispy it's it is? And yes, yes. And it doesn't take a really, really long time to cook either no, at all. This is like really quick. All right. Okay, so I'm going to You need to you need a card, Jay. Oh, that's good. Oh, you know. So if you want me to finish with the now, I'm gonna come on. Can go on like this. Hello, how are you? Good. 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 All right, so what we're looking for oh, is golden brown oh, color. I don't know everybody just <laughs> messing up my face. What is that? <laughs> Golden brown color. That's what we're looking for. What's up? How you doing? I'm good in here. Coronavirus. No. Y'all messing up my YouTube now. Where are YouTube at? I'm on the YouTube. I don't get in the way. But get away, please. Perfect. Perfect. It's so brown and pretty. Yes, yeah, nice and crispy, right? That's what we're going for. Let's turn that off. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Smells good too, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Got our tofu all nice. I just can't do nothing in this house, y'all. They always interrupt me, these boys. tofu that's laying to the side we have that amazing cuban gravy that's stewing up so now miss shula is going to cut up some plantains because that's a part of our dish all right okay so all we doing is because plantains are not really like a banana but kind of sort of like a banana so we just gonna go through the middle like that and peel it and then pull that skin back like we making banana pudding huh? mm -hmm. like you making banana pudding the thicker skin. I never did plant things before. I saw my mother in law smashing with the back of the cup, uh -huh. coffee cup, and all that kind of stuff. That's right. That's right. So I want you to teach me something on today. So you t you well, show me yeah. how sh yes show me how your mother in law did it. So I like to cut the plantains on a diagonal. Okay, they just look better that way. All right. So now you show me how your mother in law used to make them. She just take the back of the um, like the back of the cup. Okay. And she just smash it. Yep. There you go. That's what she used to do. That's just how, That's you, how you do it. That's just how you do it. Oh. Yep. Yep. And you know why they do it that Shout way? Shout out to Mr. Norris. <laughs> Cuban. <laughs> okay. Yep. Smash your plantains. We gotta turn this fire back on. Stay in the kitchen. Up some more. 
she smashed the back of her car. Oh, shoot. I smashed it too much. Let me see. You can never smash it too much. Oh, I smashed it too much. Let I said Did it break up? Yep. Okay. That smashed too much. That's exactly. No. This one is all right. Watch them fingers. Ciao. You better not chop uh -huh. my fingers. Oh, these are shmini fingers, uh -huh. child. There you go. Yep. Slippery. Yep. Smash those bad boys up. There you go. And we just gonna fry them up, dust them with a little bit of um, cinnamon. Call it a day. Now you ain't even hardly smashed that one. That's There you go. Yep, perfect. We got our oil going. Turn it back on. Yes, ma'am. I think I work. I think I did it right. The the red is on, so I think I yeah, did it right. right. Okay. You can turn it down if you want. Okay. Because I'm slow. Because I don't know what I'm doing. That's yeah. a lot of no, you're not. You're not. You're doing. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. You know why it seems like you're going slow because this is not your I'm norm. Because it's not your norm. <laughs> oh yeah, I like to learn. Yeah. Stuff. Once it becomes your norm, you're going to breeze through it just like anything else. It's just like when you're trying to teach people how to cook for the first time. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah we're now we're going to transfer those over. So let's put your tofu in your Cuban gravy. All right. Because it's been simmering for a minute. So you can add your tofu. All right, let's add your tofu. So now we put the tofu on the cube, okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leave no piece out, eat no piece. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's mix that tofu up. Mix it up. Yes, ma'am. So good, it looks me. extra good. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Just gonna let that we just gonna let that rock out. Okay. We want the tofu, yeah, we want the tofu to absorb um that that, that, that stew. No, that's fine. Okay, what are we doing now? Let's take it. We gotta dust them, right? After after we pull them out. So you never want to fry them with sugar because they'll they will definitely burn. You just fry it regular. Yep. Fry it, fry it. No nothing on it. No nothing on it because if you put anything on there, they're, they're going to burn. All mm -hmm. right. So let's transfer your. Oh, so the plants don't never have no um. Yeah, they do after you cook. Them. No, so not before, like no flour, no nothing. No, mm -hmm. no nothing. Nope. Never know. None of that on there. You just popping them in there and you're frying them. Okay. Yeah. And when you buy oh, plants, you that's what they do. Fry, they fry the plants. Yes. Yes. I'm talking about the um. I thought like maybe. Um, yeah, you just fry them up, and when you when you purchase um plantains, kings and queens are more yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm frying plantains, kings and queens. When you purchase plantains, you want them to be super duper dark because the darker they are, the sweeter they're going to be. Sweeter the berry, right. black the berry, the sweeter the that's juice. That's right, that's right. Let me wash that. Hot chef got OCD when it comes to washing. Already said. Yeah, you see, but when you got that, and I don't wash this. Yeah. I have OCD when it comes to cleaning. So we just gonna let them, when they get nice and golden brown on one side, we're gonna flip them over to the other. Okay. All right. Her rice looking good. Rice is looking good as you stir it? No. All right. I don't know what Oh, wait a minute. Cause you keep getting all these spoons and I'm watching as I go. Okay. Oh wait, it's getting, what you call it? So stir it, it's as thick as you can. Mix it. Yep. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? For your rice. Uh -huh. This one. No, this one. Turn it off. Yeah, that's done. Rice done. Yeah. Rice it's supposed done. to be wet like that? It's going to dry out. That's why we don't take it off because it's going to keep cooking. Okay. Yeah. It's an eye on the plant thing. Look at that. Hold on. Look. No, no, not yet. Mm -hmm. We want them like a nice golden brown. So a little darker. All right, so recap. Mm -hmm. Cut up your... That's our seasoning. <laughs> That's our seasoning, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper, honey, garlic, sea salt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
All right, so what do we think so far of cooking vegan? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Um, I like it so far. So far, so good, yeah. right? No. Stuff don't take the, the tofu and stuff don't take as bad as I thought. See, every time, when I taste it, I taste it twice, I think. Okay. Once or twice. Okay. And it turned me off. All right. Completely. Because of the way it was prepared. Yeah. It was too mushy. Yeah, it was like, I'm like, what is this taste? There's no yeah. taste. Yeah. Like, I don't want that. I yeah. want some flavor. Right. And again, like I told you before, when you're cooking the tofu, you can flavor it however you like. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh, oh my goodness, goodness JJ, you in my, it's my YouTube. <laughs> oh, come on. What card are you in? Take the blue card. Oh, What's this? This chicken? JJ, get out the kitchen. Come What's on. It? It's so cool. Honey, you want to taste it? Would you like to try some? Let me get yeah. you something. All right. That's what I'm talking about. He didn't eat anything. Child, he a human. Oh, you messed up our good plate. This wasn't a plate in that. That's not chicken? No, it's not chicken. See, do you like that? No. You don't like it? <laughs> because of the texture? Yeah. Okay. Chicken. No, uh-uh, that's tofu. Well, he tried it. He gave it a try. He gave it a try. He said no. <laughs> it tastes good, though. It tastes good? Like, like what? Like curry or something. Uh-huh. It tastes good, but you just don't like the texture of it. Yeah, I thought it was chicken. Uh-huh. So you wouldn't have known it was chicken that we wouldn't have told you that there was tofu? <laughs> yeah, hey, give me a big, give me two big waters no, out my room. Those are perfect. You can pull those out. Well, I cooked it on the other side. Okay. You did? Well, I did. Yeah, you good. That's good. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice and golden brown. He said it tastes good, but he don't like the texture. Bring the camera over here so I can show them how pretty it that way. Look how pretty they look. Look at those plantains. That look good. Yes. We're going to dust those with a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yes, ma'am. You want to turn that on? to our next menu selection. Alright? Got that Cuban tofu. We did the plantain. That was good. Yep. And we got the rice. See how the rice cooked out after mm -hmm. you turned it off? Yeah, it's still cooked down. Yep. Cooked down. You didn't have to touch it. Alright. So now it's time to plate. He would have liked it fried, but I liked it fried. Yeah, when it was nice and crispy. We'll put it right here. We'll put it right here. We'll put it over here. Okay. Um. So we need. Uh, I need a nice bowl. Oh, let me tell you. So, we're going to give you a really, really quick and easy way to plate up. If you're having a romantic dinner for you and your boo, just yourself. And you know you want to be a little bit fancy. Hot Chef as an arrow is going to show you how to make that happen. So, get a green onion, okay? All right? You want to make sure you take the stem off the very bottom part, okay? And we use the top part because, of course, we use that in, in our cooking. So, this is like midway to halfway of the scallion. All right, we're gonna place that down on our board. Take your knife, go down the middle of it once, go down the middle of it twice, all right? So what you wanna do is you want all of your sections to kinda of sorta of flower and just kinda of sorta of like open up, okay? We're gonna take this and we're gonna submerge it into some ice cold water. What it's gonna do is just gonna make the petals kinda of sorta of open up and flower up. So it's just a really nice and quick and easy garnish for your plate. Real simple, real easy, real Oh simple, my sexy. goodness, Jenna, get out my video! <laughs> I can't make this up! Like, what is wrong with him? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. 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 O
that's all right. So we started with our rice, okay? So listen, again, we being sexy. You know, you trying to impress your significant other or your guests when you cooking for them. That man, uh -huh. so you can get them coins. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. like she said. So we put our um, rice in a ramekin. If you don't have a ramekin, if you have a small round bowl, um, yeah, anything. Anything small that's compacted because you want to press your rice inside of it, you can use it for a salad or mashed potatoes, but we doing sexy, so we dressing our plate up. So we packed our rice in. You see how that comes out? Nice Ew. and pretty. Nice and pretty. Nice and Ew. pretty. Okay? All right? Ew. Next, we gonna take those plantains, okay? All right? Because we making a statement, all right? We want, we want them to know that, listen, you know what you doing in this kitchen, okay? All right, I like to use long plates because you can pretty much see everything. All right, it's not kind of sort of bunched together. Sometimes well, let's move this out of the way. All right, so sometimes, they can see how pretty it is. Sometimes when we use round plates, everything kind of sort of slides together. So let's get this out of the way. So she can get into it. All right, perfect. I like y'all know all my stuff be pretty. I love pretty yes. stuff. I love to see pretty stuff. Yes, yes, yes. You're doing pretty. So we got our rice, we got our plantains, and we want to work with that tofu next. All right. Let's bring this over here. Set this on my cutting board. Wait, it's like that. I like it to be 3D so they can see it. I gotta get me a camera, man. We got our tofu here, all right? And we just wanna put some of that on top of that rice, all right? Because we don't wanna completely cover the rice, all right? Because you want everybody to see what you got going on up there. You don't want it to be just like a blob, all right? So, we made a little mess. Clean your plate up. All right. Keep them paper towels handy in the kitchen. Especially when you're working with stuff that has Period, sauces. mamas and papas. Uh -huh. All right. We got that scallion. Look I'll at the color. Out. Look lay at the color. Lay that out. Look at the color. Okay. Tuck that under there. All right. Look at the color. Look at the color. All right. Spread those petals out. And there we go. Okay. Turn Real around. Easy. So they can see it. Three or six and do it slow for them. Yes. Mm. Yes. Oh, that's a good. Oh, that look good. Yes. Y'all see it. Yes. So today y'all learned how you can use my. Oh my goodness! Wait till y'all. Today y'all learned how to do my um. What am I thinking? My Cuban stew chicken, mm -hmm. but we did Cuban stew tofu, mm -hmm. and it was amazing. You the bomb. I love you. You the bomb. Yes. I mean, listen, this is what we do. We support listen. each other. I'm showing listen. you how to cook. Yeah, this, this, this is what we do. Y'all ask me how to make vegan food. We're going to, um, I had to pull her in because when I don't know something, see, I need to <laughs> shame the ex and I want the best. I don't want nobody that's going, oh, oh they claim they the best. I want the best, okay? <laughs> now, this used to be my, this one not used to be, this is my personal chef. Mm -hmm. If y'all watched me probably like a year ago mm -hmm. and a year before last, she, pre she preps and cook all my meals. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about healthy stuff, and it mm -hmm. tastes good. Mm -hmm. So if it tastes good and I can lose some weight, I can do it. But by the way, I'm back on it. That's right. I need you to get Well, wait, listen, we on it together, yes, because I gained yeah. some weight, too. Corona, you know, had me yeah. a little plus. So um, make sure that y'all, um, I don't know. This was just really cool. I learned a lot. Before, I didn't like taste um, tofu because I didn't like the way it tastes. I didn't like the texture. Mm -hmm. She showed me new ways. It's good. And we're not done, because guess what? We got another recipe coming up shortly, you guys. So listen, get those pen and pads ready. We're going to do some seitan next. Yes, she's going to be making lamb seitan, okay? We're going to do some orzo pasta, all right, with some kale, some broccoli rabe, some asparagus, tricolor peppers. She's cooking it. She's see it. in her kitchen. Yes, yes. Y'all see it. Mm -hmm. Do y'all see it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I should have took a picture first. That's good. That's really good. Mm 
A tofu? I can't even taste that. It's not, um... That is not tofu, that, right? That, that is tofu. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's how good it is, y'all. Mm-hmm. Y'all you know I don't play about... I'm not saying that because it's my seasoning either. Mm-hmm. Even though that make, the, make it taste the hell better. <laughs> I'm just saying. Kings and queens. Oh, yeah. It's about my plantain. Mm-hmm. I know how I make plantains now. Mm-hmm. Let them know. Don't let them know. Let them know. That was good. That's good. A little cinnamon. You said I put cinnamon on, I'm going to have cinnamon mm-hmm. on my plantain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And I guess since I'm on my diet, I'm a little No, no, boo. That's I'm on a diet, though. I know, but, but you don't want to eat that, do you? No. Nah. You sure? Okay. I'm on my diet. Go ahead, back out. Back, back out. Just for y'all to think I'm going on. <laughs> just take the place of what I just ate a little bit. This one right here? <laughs> Yeah, I know. Listen, that's that country stuff, though. That's that country stuff, because I'm not eating that. What? Listen, I promise you, take a bite of that plantain, taste it, take a little piece of that plantain in your mouth, and bite the onion. It's good. That's good. I'm going to take a bite of something. It. Yeah, you did. I'm t- Chase it. No, I can't. Please. I don't want to. Chase a bite. I love you, but I don't think I I'm want to. I'm telling you, I'm going to make it rough, rough, make it rough shake and make it turkey. It may taste good. No lies. Y'all gotta go watch the YouTube. Uh huh. It's lit. Yes. We lit lit. We coming back. We doing another show. Just for y'all. Uh-huh. Yeah. The vegan chef and Miss Philadelphia Country cooking herself. Yes. Period, mm-hmm. mamas and papas. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Love y'all. Love y'all. Peace and blessings.